Hey there, hello to you. AI, or artificial intelligence, has been used for years in medicine, but lately it has helped in detection and discovery in new ways that can save patients' lives. It was just shocking because I'm not, I have no risk factors other than being female. She's cancer free now, but when Jenny Dermody recently went in for her annual mammogram, she admits she got quite a scare. I did my mammogram because it was something that I always do to, for my, part of my, my wellness checkups, um, but it never crossed my mind that I was going to be a breast cancer patient. Part of what helped make that diagnosis, however, is the next generation of medicine. Do we know how much the accuracy improves with something like this? Yeah, so there's been studies that have been done. Uh, it, there's actually a range within radiologists, but for the average radiologist, the sensitivity for this has increased somewhere between five and six percent. You see that yellow circle? It is an AI notification on a mammography image such as Jenny's. It allows Dr. Anthony Antonopoulos, a radiologist with Ohio's TriHealth, to know where to further look immediately. So the system that we use is something called Profound AI. It's an AI algorithm that runs concurrently in the background and assists the radiologist in interpreting the 3D or the tomosynthesis portion of the screening mammogram. The AI analyzes each image as it's brought up. The markings are automatically generated where something appears out of the ordinary. Therefore alerting the radiologist to space, pay special attention to those areas on that exam. Dr. Antonopoulos told me this AI program ups the odds of accurate callbacks. When we can decrease those callbacks that generate all sorts of anxiety, generate extra expense, generate you know, you know, appointments and people who have very busy lives, when we can decrease that as well, that's, that's a win-win. Now the next version of this AI software, Dr. Antonopoulos told me, will take this all one step further. It will allow his team to compare previous mammograms and use an algorithm that would help detect changes. I'm medical reporter Liz Bonus. Now back to you.